Vandals are trying to steal the leaper off your Jaguar. It's a nightmare for most Jaguar drivers. Thankfully, I can spare you such troubles. This video is about connecting the leaper of your car to the standard alarm system all the X-types are equipped with. If your Jaguar is not an X-type, you can just take an idea from this video and adapt it for your reality. I'll give you some tips how to install the Leaper correctly, but not in details, because there are lots of such instructions on YouTube. This video is about my life hack, my invention, making your Leaper vandal proof. So let's begin. Here you can see a wire connected to the Leaper podium and sending ground and activating an additional relay joined up in series to the alarm switch. The ground wire goes through the hood to where the relay is installed. And first of all, I will show you the wiring diagram and explain how it works. After that, we will look upon so-called hardware implementation of my idea. As for the wiring diagrams, they are drawn not up to the highest standards, because I haven't got any electric education, so please don't criticize me for it too severely. On the contrary, if you feel a strong desire to show your appreciation to the video and maybe a desire to make a donation, please don't try to resist it. The donation link is in the description to this video. Still, I believe everything is quite clear. In a standard mode, when the hood is closed, the alarm switch is pressed and the circuit is closed too. The alarm system stays triggered. But when somebody opens the hood, the circuit breaks off and the alarm system starts blaring and flashing. As for the improved variant, I make use of normally closed pins of an additional 5-pin relay. The circuit is also closed when the hood is closed and nobody disturbs the leaper. When the hood is open, the alarm hood switch breaks off the circuit the same as in a standard version. And the only difference that nobody should pull or push on the leaper. If such things happen, the circuit is broken off by a relay. The alarm starts blaring and the young vandals run away. As for the grown-up vandals, it's up to you to hurry up and come to your leaper assistance. Here I consider it necessary to make a disclaimer. I am not responsible for any injuries caused to vandals by you or by your car's alarm system or vice versa, as well as any damages to your car caused either by vandals or by improper implementation of my invention. So let's have a look upon the hardware of a Vandal proof leaper. Especially for you, I will remove the leaper and then install it once again, so that you could see what parts it is made from. Here you see that the connector goes to a handmade contact ring, which is wound around the plastic part. The contact ring is made from stainless steel. Now, using thin pliers and a screwdriver, I am unscrewing two nuts, the lower serving as a locking nut, securing the plastic part. The nuts and other parts are quite rusty, because I installed my leaper and made it vandal-proof some four or five years ago. I remove both the nuts. After that, I remove the spring and the leaper and assemble the construction apart from the car to show you what parts it consists of. The plastic detail you see which isolates the connector ring from the ground is a nose of a disposable syringe.
Now I go on installing the leaper. You see that the leaper podium is cut in its lower part a little bit to make space for the connector to move up and down. So I tightened the nuts, the locking nut as well. I haven't got a wrench thin enough to be inserted between the lower nut and the syringe nose, so I use thin pliers. After both the nuts are secured, I tighten the whole construction with a screwdriver holding the leaper with the left hand. Then I make sure that the leaper has enough space to move up and down, nothing prevents it from turning around. Now I install a handmade stainless contact ring, insert the connector, and make sure that the relay clicks easily. Here, as I've promised, I'll give you some tips about the leaper installation. I'm sorry, I haven't taken any videos of the process four or five years ago, but I've got some pictures. It's better to drill the hole of a small diameter and then cut the paint coating around it with a drawing compass, so that not to spoil the paint around the leaper and then widen the hole with a round file. I didn't like the hood blade thickness, I thought it too thin and I fixed it with a handmade supporting washer and glued it to the hood with a sealant. And finally, before installing the podium, I cut the lower part of it with a grinder, as I have already mentioned, so that to make space for the connector ring which sends ground to the relay. So, when it is done away with the leaper, we can go on to the electrical part. I installed the relay near the hood switch in series to it. As you know, it is activated with a ground sent from the leaper and a plus wire that comes from the fuse relay box next to the battery. To be on the safe side, I connected the plus wire to the plus nut into the relay box through the fuse taken from some Chinese radio. I found all the parts for a vandal-proof leaper at home, I didn't even have to buy anything. Of course, you will make use of new and modern parts, but it is the idea which is important and the hardware implementation can differ from car to car. It depends on your reality and other conditions.
so I close the engine hood, trigger the alarm with a key fob and here you have to wait for about half a minute till the car triggers herself completely. First, I didn't know about such peculiarity of Jaguar alarm system and I thought that I connected something incorrectly, because if you pull or push on the leaper immediately, nothing will happen. It is important that you should give it about 20 seconds to turn itself in a standby mode. After that, you can check if everything is done properly and my congratulations, your leaper is vandal proof. If you liked this video, and I am sure you liked it, don't forget to click like, share it to other Jaguar drivers and subscribe to the channel, so that not miss new life hacks. And if you are so kind and want to encourage me to take new videos, you can find a donation link in description below.